Welcome everybody here to our next webinar about uh, JFD Invest uh, Trading and Investing Simplified. My name is Stefan Frodichowski, as always, for those kind of webinars here about JFD Invest. Today we have the 22nd of February 2019, 11 o'clock uh, Central Europe time. Um, and a warm welcome in the name of JFD as well. Yeah, as you might know, um, I have been a longer time on holidays, um, so I enjoyed that. Uh, coming back now for out of from Malaysia, uh, it was a great trip. But of course, now we are back in trading. Um, so even if I could tell you a lot of that country, but anyhow, let's talk about JFD Invest. JFD Invest is a quite cool platform for investing and uh, copy trading. So what I will do within the webinar, I will shortly introduce how to do it and what is JFD Invest about. But of course, Especially today, we have to talk about some new things because uh, there are new strategies added to JFD Invest. And as always, I will have a look to my private portfolio, uh, which I started uh, from the very beginning of JFD Invest. Um, and let's see how that developed over time. Um, I can promise already some new record highs about that uh, JFD Invest account combining uh, lots of strategies but now i think it's time to to go in deep here uh, uh, in depth into uh, what we are talking here but i have as, as always to show one slide before really talking about the topic uh, our risk disclaimer because we cause we talk about trading and that means um, there's risk involved and finally whatever you do of course you do it on your own so um, on your own responsibility. I think that's quite self-explaining um, and uh, it's good that uh, we have that kind of information available as always. So, but what is really JFD Invest? You find JFD Invest directly on the JFD Brokers um, uh, web page. There we go to JFD Invest and uh, then we get a new page. Um, everything about JFD Invest, how it works, any questions you might have, you definitely will find answers there. If finally you have questions, just uh, send an email to support at jfdbrokers.com or to my private email, no problem. Um, we will help you anyhow. So let's first jump to that page here. Um, that table that uh, shows the top five performing strategies um, which are pre-selected by JFD Invest, as well as all the other strategies we will see later. In total, we have, I think now, 11 strategies running here for JFD Invest. And what you see in that kind of overview is um, something about performance, uh, overall, you see last month's year to date, and so on and so forth. And that we are really talking about um, products or strategies which indeed show historical returns uh, in live trading accounts is already summarized in that kind of table. You see, for example, the strategy Hyperion, <clears throat> I think, which is um, added in during my vacation. And there's another one, Archimedes, I think that one is added as well. And therefore, we will talk about those two strategies later a little bit more in detail. Um, but you see, we have returns in the double digit uh, region. So uh, quite aggressive, uh, at least a few of those strategies are a little bit more aggressive. What you can already see with the number equity balance deviation, that means <clears throat> that is a number which um, represents floating losses. As you know, you open trades and trades might be in the minus um, for um, a longer time. and. Indeed, that number can have higher values, as you can see here. That is exactly equity balance deviation. Uh, so later, we we have to deal with the question, uh, what kind of strategies you would like to select? Uh, what kind of strategies you ought to have in your own portfolio? And of course, all those numbers give you some more insight into the strategy. And um, according to your own preferences, you, you have then uh, the free selection of the free choice of what you do with in your trading account. So that is already a summary 
of uh, the top performing strategies and now the question is, how can I manage it? How, what I, do I have to do in order to be part of JFD Invest? So it's quite easy, uh, four steps and you are completely in. So you open, um, just pressing the start button here, then you will be guided through the procedure. First thing is you have to open J JFD Invest profile, which is nothing more than uh, email address and password. So uh, it's like Facebook or whatever. So you just have to register and then you open an JFD Invest account because that is a special account for those kind of trading activities, which are copy trading, meaning those you select a strategy and say, okay, I like this one. I want to have uh, access to that strategy. Those trades should be copied into my trading account. And uh, that is exactly that JFD Invest account. That's a special account. Uh, you cannot really trade by your own. You just can select strategies and those are copied into your account. You cannot uh, close a trade. You just can stop a strategy that's off uh, and later you will see we, we can uh, have risk allocation we can uh, allocate how much money we want to have for a given strategy and everything so you connect your the two the, your profile and uh, the invest account and then you can start trading so trading means following those kind of strategies um to see a little bit more, you can use already the guest access button. Uh, so uh, that's available uh, anytime and without any registration uh, so that you can see a little bit more of uh, about those strategies. And in total, you see we have 11. In principle, we have here the same kind of information as on the web page, um, but now for all the strategies. So you see inception date, we, overall return and so on and so forth. And let's have a look to the two new strategies which have been added here. And um, the first one is Hyperion <clears throat> with an enormous result. Um, so since inception, a little bit more than one year, that strategy earned um, yeah, close to 100%. So of course, we should have a look into that strategy. And here, what you can see first is the overall growth versus time. Uh, so you see the history of um, yeah, about one year now. <clears throat> and uh, within the monthly return table, you see that there have been um, five, uh, four months uh, with some negative results, but overall a quite impressive strategy in terms of overall growth, definitely. But as I mentioned, there's another important key figure, equity balance deviation. And uh, in order to highlight that, we can go here for that chart. And here we see the floating losses over time. And it, also that kind of information is quite important for the selection procedure. Because you might say, okay, the fantastic results uh, with uh, more than 80% growth. But maybe you say, okay, um, those kind of floating losses are so mm, are too high or they are acceptable. It's up to you. Um, so therefore, we, we are quite transparent with all those kind of informations. And in order to, to enable you to have a good base for your selection procedure. So um, right now, there has been high floating losses um, September, October last year. But right now, this uh, strategy is really doing a quite good job. And there might be other interesting topics or interesting subjects for your selection process. So for example, you might be interested in the traded instruments of the strategy. And here you can see <clears throat> that this strategy is more or less trading uh, DAX and um, Dow Jones. Um, there are a few trades on two other symbols as well, but I think the majority is simply DAX and Dow Jones. Uh, so lots of trades uh, have been executed. So there's statistics behind uh, that strategy, not only, uh, for example, five lucky winners, and then we show that strategy. No, there's really a um, lot of trades behind. Um, if you are registered, then you would even see closed positions. Um, and just being registered is enough for that. Uh, so th then you can see closed positions. If you follow the strategy, then you can see, of course, the open positions uh, as well. So if you have in mind a strategy for indices, mm -hmm. might be a cool option to go for Hyperion. 
But of course, you have to accept um, higher amounts of floating losses. What is important as well, if you want to, to uh, follow that kind of strategy, is if you go here for the button details, then you can see a minimum investment sum. So that is a number of minimum allocated money for that given strategy, if you want to follow uh, exactly that kind of strategy. So there are other uh, information as well. For example, how many people are investing in that strategy, so how many investors, 14 in this case, and how much assets under management for that strategy are uh, already allocated in total, so that's close to 40k. Um, so all those kind of information might help you for your selection procedure. Um, I mentioned there's another uh, new strategy, and uh, I don't go to uh, every strategy here, but uh, let's have a look to uh, Archimedes, which is uh, new here as well. And um, yeah, once again, quite good results. Uh, let's, uh, let's have a look for equity balance deviation here as well. And then we see, okay, that kind of strategy is uh, which much lower equity balance deviations. Um, right now, okay, 4% uh, in that region. So the floating losses are much lower than for the previous strategy. So it's a quite interesting strategy um, for uh, any portfolio. So let's have a look what kind of instruments are traded for this strategy. Then we see, okay, majority of trades are on um, Euro Polish, Polish Slotty. Um, I hope I have the right name here. So that PLN and uh, Swiss franc, uh, Euro Swiss franc. So that's the majority of trades. And that's an interesting topping as well, because um, within that webinar, I don't go into too many details of those kind of strategies. But what I can tell you about this strategy is the strategy is using symbols which show not um, good threads. So, <laughs> in fact, those kind of uh, symbols are more or less um, behaving horizontal. So, no price movements long-term upwards, long-term downwards. So, the strategy is using exactly that sideward um, behavior and is using trades within um, yeah, the, that kind of behavior. So it's not a trend strategy, it's exactly the, the opposite. And that will be a topic of uh, a particular webinar. You know that I do um, two additional webinars per month about uh, strategies. And then we have to look into that kind of uh, trading approach uh, much more in detail because it's a quite interesting approach because most of the symbols are not trendy and exactly so it's a good idea to have those kind of trading strategies in our overall portfolio. So that's a really quite interesting topic here, uh, how to use non-trendy trending symbols for trading activities. And that's exactly what that kind of strategy is doing. And it's doing a quite good job here, uh, as we can see, um, in the overall growth versus time. So. Um, interesting strategy as well. So um, there's one additional strategy here um, as well. I think um, we added during my holidays uh, one more strategy and uh, that is uh, strategy Volcano. Let's have a look into Volcano as well. And uh, here we can see, okay, uh, the growth is by far not as high as for the other mentioned strategies, but it has a low equity balance deviation as well. Um, so performance wise, it's about 1% per month. Um, it's not that bad, uh, it's a little bit less. Um, stable growth might be of interest for um, people as well. So have a look here to traded instruments. And that's only one instrument, which is uh, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. So it's a minor pair, definitely. And uh, it uses some logic of uh, going uh, long and short, uh, partly simultaneously, and um, using uh, cyber markets as well. So, uh, interesting choice maybe for your portfolio. Let's have a look to minimal investment. That is 500 uh, strategies, quite new. So, only 10 investors up to now, uh, assets under management. Okay. 
that's how you go. So how you do your analysis in order to find the right strategies for your um, JFT Invest account. Having done this, then you start following. But then, of course, you need a trading uh, JFT Invest account. And I can show you some more results uh, with my private uh, account here, uh, which is this one. And I can log into that as well. That is the account I opened from the very beginning of JFT Invest. And I uh, followed a couple of strategies. I will show you which one uh, are in my portfolio. And that is what you might achieve with your trading uh, account at JFT Invest. So what you see here is um, a portfolio. Uh, I think right now there are six strategies um, within my portfolio. And over the last half year, so yeah, six months now, uh, starting at uh, 25th of uh, September, I earned totally 40%, uh, yeah, 40 close to 40% um, from the very beginning, which is a quite well result. And let's have a look to equity balance deviation, for example, and other key figures for the strategy as well. Because the cool thing here at JT Invest is that you can have a view on your uh, account in the same way than to any other trading account. So that means um, you can do the same analysis uh, of, of uh, equity balance deviation and so on and so forth. Uh, right now, it's not as fast as I want to have it. Uh, so I will retry. Uh, hopefully my internet is uh, good enough to show the results here. Um, if not, then uh, I will skip it. Uh, here, here we go. So um, now everything is all right and we can have a look to my equity balance deviation here uh, as well. And then you can see the advantage of a portfolio. Since I follow in total five strategies, um, my single risk in a given strategy is much less and therefore my equity balance deviation, my floating losses are uh, not exceeding high value. So, uh, so the maximum number here is 8%, which is quite good. Um, having in mind that I earned already more than 40%. And yeah, that's uh, I think that's a quite cool result, which you might have if you do similar steps like I do here. Let's have a look of my current allocation. So you see, um, currently I follow six uh, strategies and um, as you can see, I have different numbers of um, allocation amounts and so on and uh, the profits I earned. Uh, so that's what I have in my strategy, uh, in my portfolio. You might think, hey, why do I not have the, the top performer Hyperion? Yeah, the reason is <clears throat> because for that account here, I don't... I'm not willing to accept uh, a too high equity balance deviation. Therefore, that strategy is not in my account. In principle, I could add it. Let's see um, what I can show you the procedure um, uh, of how a strategy is uh, um, done. And uh, But first, I have a question here. Are profits reinvested in the portfolio? Um, yes, the answer is uh, yes. Uh, and uh, as long as I can have new uh, minimum lot sizes. And so uh, I know, but let me start my sentence again. Um, we in, the reinvesting can only occur if you have the next step available, meaning if there's a trade with 0.01 lot and copied into my trading account. Um, the next step could only be 0.02. So uh, there are strategies which are exactly trading uh, with minimum lot size. So then it takes, uh, you need double of um, allocated money for that strategy uh, until you have really the complete reinvesting. If it works earlier with uh, the um, lot sizes of any trades, then of course it's directly reinvested um, um, as it should be. Okay, so but now let's have a look of how to, to, to do exactly those kind of steps following a new strategy. As I mentioned, the strategy Vulcano is quite interesting because it has low equity balance deviation, not that high profits. Okay, I know, um, but let's start following. So um, it's 
exactly what I do here is what you need to do, uh, to do um, if you want to follow as well. So um, since I don't have enough money um, for, for having a new strategy here in I would have to, to throw out another strategy. You can see here a minimum would be 500, but I have only available 300. So I cannot do exactly, but at least I want to show how to do it. Um, so it's just allocating the amount of money. Then we can enable the bottom risk uh, assessment, uh, the risk management, which means you can set levels that a strategy is automatically stopped out. So you, you may think, okay, I uh, don't want to have uh, uh, more losses than 10% of my allocated money for the given strategy, then you can exactly uh, do it here and you can change the number um, to whatever you like to, to be the stop out level for a given strategy. There's one additional thing I don't uh, want to forget to mention that one. There's a performance fee involved. Um, so the performance fee is 25%. Sounds maybe high, but the good thing is it's totally high watermark. High watermark um, is the best thing to do for any performance fees because you only have to pay if there's uh, um, if their the strategy uh, reaches new highs uh, at the end of the month. Uh, that is the, the date of um, calculating performance fees. So only if you reach new highs, then you pay from the, um, the profit 25%. Okay, uh, so understanding that that means and then let me go back here to to my overall um, um, dashboard for my uh, trading account then you can see exactly what that means you see i earned more or less exactly three thousand euros net so after performance fees which means the total profit was close to four thousand and the missing close to 1000 is exactly the performance fee. So um, so my net result uh, is 30% uh, and my gross result before performance fee is the, uh, exactly those uh, 40%. But as I mentioned, we only have to pay uh, fees if we reach new highs. Um, so therefore that's quite fair and uh, completely transparent how that is done overall. I think that's a really good result. As I mentioned before my holidays, um, the strategy should earn my holidays, which indeed worked out. Um, as you can see, in total, I earned 3,000 net. Uh, and yeah, that have been my holidays. Uh, you might do similar things, but of course, what I recommend is go do a real good analysis of what kind of strategies you want to have in your um, your account. And I can mention that next week, and you find those webinars on the JFD um, homepage, uh, I will do a webinar exactly for that proce uh, procedure of how to balance a portfolio, how to get a well-balanced portfolio uh, in terms of you we 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 formulate some some key figures we want to achieve or what we are willing to risk uh, like drawdowns and so on and all those things will finally create the portfolio so for example uh, if you just want to go for for high profits you see what you would do you would follow hyperion but if you want to have it more balanced, lower drawdowns, lower equity balance deviation, of course, we have to create a real portfolio. Similar I did here for my JFD Invest account. And those kind of steps which are needed uh, in order to do the portfolio allocation, uh, I will show in a complete uh, one hour web webinar next week. Uh, I will do it in English and in German. Uh, the English one will be on, uh, Thursday evening and the German one on Wednesday and you find those uh, webinars uh, exactly here on the research um, and there you go for webinars um, and there you can find exactly that kind of webinar so since I'm already here I can show uh, so um, here's the webinar the supreme discipline of trading portfolio trading and how to do that how to do portfolio allocation in a good and balanced way i will show there 
for now, I think we have a good start uh, with here with our overall portfolio, and you can do similar steps allocating um, the right strategies and create your own portfolio. And I hope uh, you will have similar profits than I have here with my quite well balanced portfolio. Okay, that's for now. If you have any questions, just send me an email. I will show my uh, uh, email address here as well. If you want to have more information about uh, some given strategies, no problem. Just send me an email. S. Friedrichowski, I know that's a really complicated last name, at jftbrokers.com. <clears throat> and I hope I can help you um, for, for any given question. So uh, let's see. That's for now. Enjoy the day, enjoy the, the upcoming weekend, and uh, see you hopefully next week, either uh, with a complete webinar about portfolio um, allocation, or next time for JFD Invest will be next week as well. Okay, see you, and have a good day. Bye-bye.